what are some really practical ways that maybe people who are listening to this conversation or having these similar types of conversations in their communities, um, they want to embody that hope, they want to make hope and action, but they don't know exactly how to when it comes to creation care. What are just some really practical ways to, to enact that hope? Um, well, I'd say a few things. One, uh, go outside. So be rooted in, in your happy place outside because that's going to sustain you and that's going to actually motivate you because you can't really care for what you don't love and you can't love what you don't know. So you need to know your place. The second thing would be um, just the discipline of Sabbath. So mm. being invited into that place of rest that isn't about consuming. It's about a different way of living, about just being a creature in the world amongst creatures. So as our family, we, um, we try to be outside on the Sabbath on Sundays. We don't buy anything. We eat simply. Um, so we resist that, that notion that you are what you buy. <laughs> um, and then I think thirdly is just learn more and participate in one area. So um, there's so many books out there on what you can do. Um, for me, climate change has become a real um, concern for me Personally, it's not what we do a lot with in Arasha, but I've been reading a lot of Bill McKibben, and he has an organization called 350.org. Um, he's a Christian fellow, actually. Um, so there's so many ways, but you can learn, and if you have a passion for fish, then join a stream keepers group. If you're a gardener, join a community garden and do some organic gardening. I'd say look at what is your passion and then engage with that part of creation. Mm -hmm.